Hey guys, it's Nuo Master, and welcome back to another Redstone video. In this video, I will be quickly showing off an um, interesting concept that I was playing around with um, a couple weeks ago, actually. Um, mainly just because um, I haven't posted anything in a while, and I kind of feel like I should post something. Uh, and this is pretty cool, and I thought I'd show it off. So, um, basically, it's XOR gates made with comparators which allows for faster uh, components for things um, based off the fact that XOR gates are made out of two ORD NIMPLY gates or can be made out of um, like this one for example um, just so you can see that this is uh, two ORD NIMPLY gates um, that one only turns on when I turn this one on and nothing else. So if I turn that one on, that one doesn't turn on. If I turn this one on, that one doesn't. That one turns on. But if I turn them both on, that one's not on. So as you can see, um, it is ORD and IMPLY gates. Uh, you can see for the other one too, it's the opposite. That one's on, that one's on. This one's on, that one's off. And uh, pull them on, them off. So um, yeah, that's this is just a simple XOR gate. But what you can do with this is see how normally this is two ticks. You can see uh, maximum two tick. And there's someone here. But um, with comparators, you have you can make one tick and imply gates by using a comparator in subtract mode since comparators are always one tick so you can make very fast XOR gates using that. So this is a one tick XOR gate here you can see it does work as an XOR gate so you have one input's on, the output's on so if both of them are on, output is off And um, over here I have some uh, two wide uh, stackable, or some people call them staggerable because they're staggered heavily designs. Um, this one is my first attempt. Uh, it's uh, pretty small, um, but it's a mess. And wiring is just a complete mess. And then uh, down here I have a more reasonable one that's actually a bit smaller. Um, the only problem is is that do the signal lengths um, when both of them are on it's actually a low signal rather than a uh, off signal so you have to like extend this out a little bit before you can uh, use it like that or uh, something but uh, yeah um, basically actually I can go ahead and build one of these um, what I did was I took my two comparators. Is that how I built it? Yes, that's how I built it. And then I attached one input from each of these inputs to the back of one and to the side of the other. And they alternated. So that's that's how I got the uh it implies gates and then I just ordered it afterwards. Um, so like Am I building this right? Uh, no, I'm not. I'm not building this right. What am I doing? And there we go. So we have here... This is the first input. Um, let's just make, make it green here. Going over, powering this first comparator in the back, and then the second comparator will be powered from the side like that. So uh, that will create our uh, first part of the uh, NIMPLIES gate and then when I create the other one it will create two NIMPLIES gates which allows the uh, XOR gate to function. Um, that other one fits nicely right in here with uh, pretty much no issues. What did I do here? Uh, slab. And then a block, and that, that creates our XOR gate. 
you can see it is indeed an XOR gate. As I said, it's a low signal, not a off signal. It still works. Uh, you just have to extend it out a bit. There we go. Technically, you don't really need that repeater. And then um, to stack this, I just um, built another one down here kind of differently. Uh, I might as well build that one here too. Um, do I, am I going to have room? I don't know if I'm going to have room. Uh, inputs are set up like this. Ah, pick, pick the lever. There you go. And then this one goes underneath. And powers compared to right here in the side, and then a comparator right here in the back, I believe. And then the output is right there. So you can see that's the same thing as that right there. And then for the other one, that, that one was a bit more tricky to wire. I look, it looks like I went here, block that off since it interferes, and then over and around. Kind of like that. There we go. And that is how I created the uh, stackable design. Is that it? Did I miss it? Did I miss any? Uh... Yeah. And then you, then uh, this one kind of fits right above that one. Um, yeah. Actually, I can connect these two uh, designs here. Let's let's do that. Wait, no, I'm, I'm stupid. Anyways, um, if you really want to figure out how to want to do this um, yourself, you can come on here and look at it. It's just the or Redstone server in my plot. Um, but yeah, thanks for watching. Um, there's a little another sneak peek of my calculator over there. Um, and yeah, uh, this is very useful. You can stick it on the end of your adders or whatever to make them a bit faster. Um, and uh, yeah, I hope to see some interesting creations using these. That's all. Thanks for watching. See you next time.